Hey guys, how's it going? So, second yo-yo on the bail day today. So this yo-yo is um, done by a pretty small company. So it was a smaller company that I actually hadn't really heard of until they reached out to me. So it's called ART, Amplified Return Tops, which is pretty cool. And the yo-yo they sent me is called the Ovation, all right? So I've got some stats, I've got some information on it actually here on my phone, but I uh, thought I'd just do an unboxing and basically get it out to see. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, so we have the paper, so empty box, then we have the wrapping, and finally we have the yo-yo. So, the yo-yo's name is the Ovation. So, this should be pretty interesting. Unbox that. And, whoa. Whoa. Okay. So, it's got a nice little laser engraving thing there. Um, oh! Huh, this is kind of cool. This is a pretty big badge. Pretty, just solidly big badge. Um, and inside here, ooh, we have, it's kind of like a white paper. And then, inside there we have the ovation. This is really interesting, actually. It's a pretty blocky looking kind of yo-yo, so um, I was about to say, oh, it's, it's kind of nice and rounded. It's not, it's quite, it's kind of like blocky and angular. Um, so, that's that. It's pretty cool. It feels a bit weighty. So, actually, um, I don't know these off the top of my head, but I do have a set of the specifications. And the specifications are... So, to kind of give you guys a rundown, it's 54 millimeters. So, when I was talking to um, the manufacturer of this thing, he said he wanted a mid-size kind of yo-yo. So, 54 millimeters is kind of in that, like, mid-range. Width is 42.5 millimeters. Um, mass is 64.7 grams, so that's pretty light. Um, 64 is, you know, pretty light by my um, my standards. I think iron is 67, and um, yeah, drop near like 64, and they're pretty light as well. And then the pads are just standard, yeah, standard 19 millimeter pads. So yeah, that's sweet. So let's chuck on this badge, chuck on a string, and play with this yo-yo. So. The ovation, the mid-sized. Ooh. 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 That fun. So, um, one thing I can definitely feel is its mid-sized nature. So that's the one thing that's kind of standing out to me at the moment. Um. When I'm playing with this yo-yo, it's light because it's 64 grams. And to be honest, when I was feeling it in the palm of my hand, I was like, oh, this thing's pretty blocky, it's pretty chunky. I assume it'll play pretty heavy, but it doesn't. It, it's got a really nice, fun kind of feel to it. Um, and the weight, um, I mean, not the weight, the size itself, it's actually quite, it's, you can feel it. It's like, um, I'm, I'm usually used to playing like a lot of 50, 56, 57, 55 millimeter yo-yos, and this 54 is a nice little break from that, I think. Um, so that's the first thing that's kind of standing out to me. Uh, the second thing is it's really smooth. Now, I'm not sure if it's absolutely smooth, but it feels smooth on the string. Oh, jokes. Yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely smooth as well. So that's, that's a plus. That's always a plus. Um, but yeah, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah. It glide, it, it spins on the string really agile, really, really quickly, but also very smoothly. So, um, I wasn't really sure what to expect from this, actually. Uh, the first thing I was kind of thinking of was, hmm, well, it's just gonna be uh, a mid-sized yo-yo that will probably you know, incorporate a nice, flowy, smooth kind of yo-yo. But because the weight is only 64 grams, the yo-yo itself is actually quite unique. Um, so a lot of yo-yos I've played in this category kind of just play very 
um, very middle of the pack kind of thing. So what I mean by that is that you'll have a yo-yo that's slightly smaller, it'll have an average weight, it'll have an average size, an average width. This yo-yo on the other hand, yes, it's um, it's it's like diameter, it's slightly smaller than usual, um, but it doesn't really, it has a light weight, which makes it kind of unique. Um, so it's a small, kind of punchy, agile little yo-yo. That being said, it's not the lightest yo-yo out there. I'm not saying that like, you know, this thing is like super light, like a, uh, the first thing that's coming to mind is like a Corruption or a, or a G2 Hawk or something, but um, the yo-yo itself is lighter than average, which gives it a very, very fun, flowy demeanor. Now, while I say that this yo-yo is fun, right? The shape itself is actually pretty competition orientated. So, whoops, I don't know what I'm doing yet. But, yeah, this isn't really horizontal, but the yo yo itself isn't, isn't like a round, high wall kind of yo-yo that you could you just play for fun. It, it's got some specs to it that would be like, oh, yeah, I could probably compete with something like this. Um, depending on like how you like the yo-yos, of course. Hmm. Okay, didn't know what I was doing there. So, in terms of a summary of this yo-yo, it's a mid-sized, fast, um, but really nice and nimble kind of yo-yo. Um, it really, it, it, it strikes a spot in the fact that it's nice to play with because it's different. Um, a lot of yo-yos in the middle category are literally just that, just middle, just average. Whereas this one has a slightly lighter weight than usual, which kind of um, makes it stand out for me. So, um, one final fact. See how there's kind of like a, a dimple in there, like so? Um, in terms of just, you know, I think, supporting the axle, um, that was actually based off a Pokeball. So I spoke to the owner and was like, oh, you know, what's this dimple here for? And it's apparently, he, he tried to get it so it would uh, resemble that of a Pokeball. Um, so that's just a fun fact that you guys should be aware of. So that was the ART, the Amplified Return Tops Ovation. Awesome. Any comments, questions, and criticisms, post them down below, and I will see you guys next time.